thank you for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. On today's video, I'm going to be recreating the cheese skirt burger from Birmingham's Vodka and Ale House out of Canada. Let's get going. So before we start cooking, big thank you to one of my subscribers out of Canada, Brett. He made the suggestion for this burger, also gave me a lot of information, some photos to help me out. And a big thank you to Chad, the owner of Birmingham's Vodka and Ale House. He graciously responded to my email and excitedly gave me all the information I needed to know to actually pull this thing off, gave me the recipes, the techniques. So thank you. I'll have links down below to Birmingham's Vodka House locations and yeah, check them out. Let's start cooking. So the first thing I want to get going is some sautéed onions. You're just chopped yellow onions. Using the blackstone here and running the center here at a good medium, medium temperature. I don't want to fry these. I want to get them nice and you know, softened up. These are looking good. They've got some nice color. They're getting definitely softening up. I'm going to put them over here where they're, the burner is not turned on, but it's still warm. It'll still continue kind of breaking down the onion. So the next thing we're going to do is make the burger sauce. And honestly, you should make this probably two hours at minimum ahead of time. It's a basic sauce. And again, a big thanks to Chad for hooking me up with the recipe. Um, it was a challenge. He gave me a recipe for 20 liters of this stuff, so I had to break it down to a more usable amount for me. I have here one half cup of mayo plus two and a half teaspoons. And right here I have smoked paprika, chili powder, cayenne pepper. Just throw that in there. Give this a stir. And there we are. We'll set this aside again. You're going to want to do this a couple hours in advance just to kind of let all the flavors meld together. So right here I have the kettle grill going with lump charcoal. And right here I have a eight ounce patty. This is 80, 20 ground chuck. Season with some salt. Pepper. A bit more salt. More pepper. And right here I have some, these are just nice fresh bakery rolls. These are yeast hamburger rolls, lightly buttered. Right here I have a bacon weave. And what I did was I took a total of three full pieces of bacon, cut each slice in half, did a weave, and I threw them in the oven on some parchment paper, 350 and I cooked it until it was about 70 75 percent done get these on the flat top start kind of just crisping this up Burger a flip This over here by the onions, let it hang out. All right, we're going to transfer this patty to the flat top. All right, give this a flip. Now there's a decent amount of grease around this burger, but I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. Yeah, Birmingham's Vodka Nail House, they're using like a non-stick spray, but I don't have any non-stick spray, so I'm going with just a cooking oil. Just around the burger. Now here's where things get gorgeous. I have four ounces of, it's a 50-50 blend of cheddar cheese and mozzarella shredded. Mm. 
Now, whenever I do anything like this, I always dome it. I'm gonna take a little water. Meantime, we're gonna start dressing this bottom heel of the bun here with some of that burger sauce, some of that sauteed yellow onion. Now on the crown portion, some of that sauce. Some shredded lettuce, finely shredded iceberg. Two tomato slices. Some garlic dill chips. And there we go. So I'll admit a couple little fringe edges here got a little toastier than I wanted, but still it smells great. It's, this is the gift that keeps on giving because it basically starts out as an appetizer and then you go into the burger. And what a lot of people will do is they'll, they'll pull off this beautiful crispy pieces of cheese, just snack on it. Let's try this thing out. Looks and smells amazing. <laughs> That's a good burger. Thing I dig on it is it's it's basic. I mean it's a basic cheeseburger, a very basic sauce, and then they throw that curveball at you with that crazy cheese skirt. And I, I love those skirted burgers. I, I, you know, my favorite part of a grilled cheese sandwich is that part that drips down into the flat top and gets toasted. And this is a lot of real estate of toasted cheese. Uh, I mean, it's, again, some people will fold these skirts over onto the burger and then just eat it that way, and other people pull it and eat them like chips. That's the way I do it. Anyway, Brett, thanks for the suggestion. Chad, thanks for the help. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep the suggestions rolling in. If you're not subbed, please do. Make sure you ring that notification bell. If you like the video, thumb it up. See you in the next video. Cheers.